Oh, oh yeah, oh, well I know I started recording. Um, hey guys, this is Daniel Clay from Drift Press Play, and um, this is, I guess you can call this more of a rumor at this current point, but there has been some, some small leaks that have happened over the newest Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy that releases a PS4 exclusive last month, I believe, I could be wrong. And so far, it there's it's been spotted with technically just having Xbox controls mapped over certain parts where it should be showing PlayStation controls, and so it's actually quite interesting because someone on I believe, it, you know, they said it was deleted on the PlayStation Ireland Twitter account, which I think is pretty interesting though. Maybe they're trying to cover up the fact that oh shit, this is probably like a timed exclusive. It probably might not be though. We have to take that with a grain of salt. It might not be timed exclusive whatsoever. So um. Maybe that's just what's going. They just made a mistake and probably had it in the, in the testing phase or something like that. But it still shows A as select and B as the back button, which is something you only find on, of course, an Xbox One controller or an Xbox 360 controller or whatever Xbox device that you might own. You will find that on there, including Nintendo devices. But the color scheme is most likely Xbox, of course. Now, it, I'm just going to quote on what they said. It's not entirely shocking that this isn't concrete information that the game will come to the Xbox. It definitely gives us another reason to believe that it probably will come to the Xbox soon. It's harder to guess when the game will make it its way across, and it's clear that the game is selling. It is selling person units, but it's I, I believe that it's a good sales kind of stance that they wouldn't actually um, say that, hey, it is coming out for both of you know the Xbox One and the PS4 because then people will just probably wait for whatever other version it is or if you have an Xbox One owner he might not want to go out and get a PS4 so it pretty makes a, it makes a lot of sense that they wouldn't you know reveal both the consoles at the same time but this is a I would definitely take this as a rumor um, another thing too that is really interesting is that um, that would really really th this is this is pretty damn interesting it says here in Australia, EB Games was marketing it as a PlayStation 4 exclusive for months before changing the market and removing the only for PlayStation tagline from the marketing. So that's just adding more fuel to the fire towards this rumor. So this could most definitely be true, though. I would not take it, you know, I wouldn't take it too seriously, though, because there was rumors about this going around a couple months ago saying that it isn't a PS exclusive, but this could have fueled that, you know, possible rumor all the way back up to 10 like 10 out of 10 if you do this on like a 10 scale rating this is making it like a 9 or a 10 out of 10 right now I, I would say this is kind of solid the solid rumor at this point though but you know there's no confirming information about it let me see because usually people can ar archive the tweets and stuff like that so they can they even confirmed it that that it is but you know seeing that this information is leaking out still it's pretty interesting so um that's about it for today guys I am um Need to do some chores or like that. I don't really have much going. I don't think petitions are going to start from this. It's, this comment says there's going to be. There's no petitions coming from this. Um, I, if if there, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there were. But that'll be that'll be extremely stupid if there were petitions for this. That that that'll be dumb. Um, yeah, that's just it's just some interesting stuff though. I would love to see this on the Xbox as well though. That would be awesome to see it on another piece of you know, uh, another piece of hardware. I know people who actually are planning on getting PS4s just for this game in general, and I don't think you need to really get, you should, I, I don't really like time exclusives. Let's just keep it at that. I hate time exclusives. I don't, and it's not because I'm not like a PlayStation fanboy or a Nintendo fanboy or an Xbox fanboy at all. I'm not, I, no, I, I'm definitely not, but I don't really care for time exclusive. I, I like when a game that's made by a third party developer comes out in all units. I really love that because that means that everyone's able to experience the game for themselves and make their own opinions on it and just have a hell of a lot of fun. And, well, I understand that there's console exclusives, but technically this isn't even really directly made by Sony. So it, these some of these rumors could be true, you know, could be true. So I would like to see your opinions in the comments. And that's about it. Um, like, dislike, subscribe, do whatever you need. We really need subs right now. We're trying to get to 100 subs. And thank you guys for watching. Um, we might be doing some more live streams pretty soon towards whatever ROM hack we want to do. But it's not happening today, though. I'm sorry to say that. And I thank you guys for watching, though. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for most definitely tuning in.